Hi, Randy here. Thought I'd talk to you just for a few minutes about some stuff that's going inside my head. Um, something that I've learned along the way is that it's always important to just leave people wanting more. And that is a standard saying in entertainment, but once we start to internalize it, it really does impact the programming that we do our shows, our interactions with people, I always want them leaving me wanting more rather than thinking, oh my, I'm glad that's finally over. Or man, that guy was dragging things out. Um, and it even goes along with another little saying that uh, I've taught various people and it's simply this. Show people what you can do not what you can't do. Let me say it again. Show people what you can do and not what you can't do. Uh, when I first started performing, I, I learned juggling and that took me into clowning. And I loved juggling and it was a lot of fun. So I'd get up on stage and start off with a juggling routine. And I'd have a song on that would be four or five minutes long. And I found that I could juggle about a minute and a half really well and then I'd drop and then I'd pick it up and I'd juggle more for about another minute and then I'd drop and I'd pick it up and I'd juggle 30 seconds and drop and I'd juggle 10 seconds and drop and then I'd juggle another 30 seconds and drop and I'd go <laughs> until I'd done five minutes and I found out that people were really excited and impressed with what I did for the first minute and a half and then after that I'd be messing up and really showing them that I didn't have the skill level that they thought I had. And I realized what I needed to do was cut back from four or five minutes and show them what I can do, not what I can't do. And so I found a great piece of music that was a minute and three seconds. And I packed in my best juggling stuff into that first minute. And I found that when I'd get up on stage and I would hit that and I would end at that first minute and bam, people would applaud and cheer and say, that was amazing. We wish you'd juggle more, which was a lot better than having him walk away saying, eh, that guy, he's really not that good. Um, in the last couple of years, I was doing a Diablo routine at the beginning of a program and there were some young guys there, teenagers, college age, that also did Diablo. I did only about a minute, minute and a half of Diablo, uh, doing some swirls and twists and, and throws and catches. And it got done. And at the end of the show, they came up and they were like, oh, we loved the whole show. It was great. Oh, we didn't know you did Diablo. That was awesome. We just wish you would have done it a lot more. And I just smiled and said, thank you because they don't know that I showed them everything I can do with a Diablo in about a minute and a half. And then I put it away. <laughs> and sometimes what people do is they think, well, maybe in the performance in the show, I could, uh, you know, I could hit it. I, I could, I mean, I hit it half the time in rehearsal. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll just hit it in the show and everybody will go, wow, that was awesome. But the problem is we have a little more adrenaline going, which doesn't help us. Actually, it makes it probably, you know, it's more probable that we're going to mess up because our timing is not the same as how we rehearse. And so really you have about a one out of five chance of hitting that instead of one out of two, about one out of five. And so just know that. I encourage you, show people what you can do, not what you can't do. And always leave them wanting more. There's uh, a few of my thoughts from the inside. La, 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 la. La 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 la